Well, traditional storage is very expensive. And it's expensive when you buy it. It's expensive to pay someone like me to maintain it and make it work every day. And it's expensive to pay maintenance on as it runs through its life cycle. With vSAN, you're not paying that. You're doing something different. It's different because it's part of the server rather than part of a shared storage array. So the disk is in a machine that has a much lower maintenance cost, and it's just cheap disk inside a server. So overall purchase is not as significant as an array. Some of the challenges that led us to look at vSAN are cost. It's a matter of finding more to do with your dollar. It's much simpler to maintain than a traditional array. It's less expensive over its life cycle in the business. One of the things we considered when we looked at vSAN is it's part of the VMware core product. It's not a bolt-on, it's not an additional piece of software, it's part of the core system. We use vSAN for a variety of things. I mean, the, the easiest way to put your foot in the product is, is to use it in a lab. We started using it in a lab test dev, it proved itself there, and it's moved into production, so main data center workloads run on vSAN. Anything that that's fits the profile of vSAN, and there's probably 80% of our workload does, is a candidate to live on that system. And in a data center, it's safe. You have your traditional system sitting around, you can move your data over from a traditional system onto vSAN. Simply enough, there's a lot of different shared storage platforms out there. None of them work as well as vSAN, and none of them are backed up by somebody who's been in the business for a long time. So an immediate benefit for vSAN is cost. So a demonstration of that is we were able to purchase 40 terabytes of vSAN usable disk in an eight node system for less than I would pay for a single shelf of storage in the past, and that's just a very an easy thing to do. No matter who your server vendor is, it's built, it runs on the same platform as the rest of all your other stuff that's in the data center. If I had to sum vSAN up, it's very simple to use, it's simple to implement, it's part of the core VMware product, and it doesn't take a lot of day-to-day -day engineering to keep it running. It's just VMware, and, and VMware is everywhere.